www.co.za Welcome to The Social Show with myself, Wojtjolwana, and you are listening to all things CSI, really, in uh, 30, 30 minutes. And we are coming from uh, the Bohemian suburb, which is Melville. And uh, yes, we are so excited to be back on air. Um, it's a beautiful day. I always say that. I'm so excited that we always wake up and there's, uh, you know, beauty all around us in the sense of our environment, in the sense of uh, the people we get to meet and see. Yes, a lot of things are going badly in our country, but we uh, we strive for, for, for goodness and we expect better from uh, our citizens. Uh, crazy morning. I saw a uh, lot of happy faces uh, on my way to work, so I'm very excited. But without any further ado, the, we're going to go straight into our news for the day. Alcoholic beverages company D.I.G.O. is renewing its commitment to sustainable packaging with the release of its revised global plastics and packaging guidelines coinciding with World Environment Day, which was recently celebrated. For over a decade, D.I.G.O. Uh, says it uh, has been committed to making packaging more uh, sustainable, principally through the increasing uh, recycled content, reducing the weight and increasing recyclability of all product packaging. While the majority of the company beverage products come in m- primary packaging made from glass and aluminium, the use of plastic packaging uh, in the world is increasing. Amongst a number of other commitments in its new supplementary guideline on plastics, the company aims to increase the use of of pre- and post-consumer recycled plastic materials in their plastic formats, particularly PET, in line with the company's ambition to increase recycled content in all packaging. The document is aimed at the company's own teams and suppliers across the supply chain to address the key environmental risks and challenges as well as solutions. In other news, Forestry South Africa has released the third version of its environmental management guidelines for commercial forestry plantations in South Africa in an electronic format which can be found on the FSA website. The objective is to provide updated guidelines for the management of plantation forestry in order to minimize the impacts of operations on the physical environment. The document is simply presented with each chapter, including a general description of the subject matter to inform the reader of the most uh, important issues. This is followed by a statement of intent describing what a forester uh, should aim for. It also highlights a number of measures that can be applied to achieve the desired outcome. Guidelines uh, to reduce negative impacts through the application of law and a best management practices are, are as follows. Minimize impacts on stream flow through the removal of alien and invasive species from wetland buffer zones and adjoining rivers. Reduced impacts on biodiversity through the retention or establishment of uh, natural vegetation corridors between timber compartments. And reduced impacts on soil from harvested compartments and roads. And lastly, in our news, according to Stats SA, uh, since 2011, more than 2.8 million people, 7.5% of the populations, are living with disabilities in South Africa, while less than 1% of the total workforce in SA comprise of people living with disabilities, as revealed by Commission for Employment Equity CEE employment figures. Additionally, 68% of adults living with disabilities have never looked for a job, and many of those who do find work are more likely to be employed under an under insecure and exploitative conditions. To address the low representation and provide opportunities for people living with disabilities in the workplace, Chevron South Africa, which operates in country under the Caltex brand, launched an annual leadership program in September 2015 with black unemployed learners living with disabilities. The 12-month program is designed to create pipeline, a pipeline of people living with disabilities who can compete for positions within different compartments or departments at uh, Chevron South Africa and across the country. Speaking to social TV, Llewellyn van Arda said this year a total of 31 candidates uh, were recruited and assessed by an education and training service provider, Prime Serve HR Solutions, and selected by Chevron South Africa to undergo training in wholesale and retail operations in QF Level 3 and wholesale and retail management in QF Level 4. And that concludes our news for today.
Have you ever thought about the power of social media? Social media has the power to make your business grow. Grow! Yeah. Why don't you let us manage your social media? Because our business is to see your business grow. Visit us at www.beastownmedia.co.za World Environment Day was actually trending um, yesterday on Twitter. And I was so impressed because I was like, oh my word, more people know about it. More people are talking about it. More people are engaging. Because when it was Earth Day, I didn't see it trend as quickly or as for, as long as World Environment Day did. In fact, I, I saw a lot of ministers talking about it, a lot of people in the media, big names speaking about Environment Day and what they're doing, what the message is now this year, what the theme is, what is it that we're doing as South Africans to be more environmentally conscious. And I think um, we're finally getting to see see people actually actively using their social mediums to really disseminate really good stuff and i think world environment day is definitely that and again a great thing about it is that it's globally recognized and um everybody knows about it and if you don't know about it you're living under a rock world environment day was yesterday uh, on the 5th of june and it is every single year on the 5th of june and uh, i wonder what you were doing i wonder if you even knew I wonder if you checked your, your threads and on Twitter or on Facebook and you said, okay, this thing is trending. I wonder what it's about. Let me read up a little bit more about it. Oh, let me tell my kids about World Environment Day. I wonder what, you know, the schools, I know people are, it's, it's exam time. So there's no real uh, education around it also. Um, but it's a very important day and it is the biggest, most globally, globally celebrated day for positive environmental action through World Environment Day. The UN Environment Program enables everyone to realize not only the responsibility to care for the earth, but also reminds one and all of their individual power to become agents of change, everybody. Are you an agent of change? Listen, every action counts and when multiplied by a global chorus, Wow, it becomes exponential. It becomes humongous in its impact. Now, World Environmental Day is a big celebration. As I said, it's engaging millions across the globe. I think that's why it was trending. And uh, through, you know, there's a lot of different events that are happening all around the world at the same time, on the same day, over 70 different countries every year. Participants, young, old uh, school goers, uh, working class, uh, black, white. There's no like issues around Environmental Day. They organize cleanup campaigns, art exhibitions, tree planting drives and concerts, dance recitals, um, recycling drives, social media campaigns, like I said, and different contests themed, themed around caring for the planet. Now, World Environment Day is the United Nations principal vehicle for encouraging worldwide awareness and action for environment. And over the years, it has really grown to be a a broad global platform for public outreach that is widely celebrated by stakeholders in over 100 countries. Um, so I love the fact that uh, a lot of countries are getting involved in it. A lot of uh, different uh, contests and campaigns and, and initiatives and, and all of these things are organized. However, I do think that it should be something that is monthly. I think World Environment Day should be monthly because the rate that there's pollution and the rate that trees are going down and the rate that rainforests are being burnt in the rate that you know um you know the environment is just not healthy the way it's supposed to be one day to celebrate this day one day to plant trees one day to actually get involved and understand your relationship with the environment is not enough i completely believe that with every fiber of my being that it is a great day. I'm not mad at it when people from all walks of life come together to ensure a cleaner, greener and brighter outlook for themselves and future generations. But it shouldn't be once a year. It should be more than once a year. It should be every month we should have a day that is dedicated to all these campaigns, all these art exhibitions, all these tree planting drives, all these recycling drives, social media campaigns, just to make sure that we're healing our country, our, our continent, our world in a quicker on a quicker scale faster you know with more rigorousness if, if if you know what i mean we need to be a little bit more aggressive in the way that we celebrate the day and how long we celebrate it and when we celebrate it so woohoo for everybody who knew it was environment day number one woohoo if you did something about it a third woohoo if you are involved in something that on a weekly or monthly basis does try to regurgitate or reinvest 
in your environment in any way. So woohoo to you. Now, each World Environment Day is organized around a theme that focuses attention on particularly pressing environmental concerns. And the theme for 2017 is connecting people to nature. I actually had this conversation the last time I had um, humanitarian artist uh, Yamika Warner. And we spoke about how people really feel so far removed from nature, how far it is from you. You're human. You have nothing to do with the ecosystem. You have nothing to do with the birds, the, 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 the you know, how insects work how it works for your benefit how um you know how many trees are cut down how many trees are planted you kind of have this concept and i mean i'm not just saying i'm not saying you do, you, you everybody does but i think a, major, a large majority of people do where it feels as though you are pretty much really uh, living in a silo beside the the environment the environment is like second nature you don't necessarily pay attention to it you don't talk about it in your daily conversations you don't talk about how you whether or not you recycle with your friends or something you talk about over a beer <laughs> you don't talk about it uh when you're doing your nails or your hair you don't think about oh my word this tree was here five years ago and now it's not um or uh which see well how can we have um you know, um, gardens in our backyards. I don't think urban uh, going young people are thinking in that sense. Uh, they may be, but very few of them. I think we're all thinking about this sort of concrete jungle that we're in, especially if you're in the city. And even if you're in a small town, I don't think necessarily you understand your relationship with nature. So I love the theme, connecting people with nature. And the theme for World Environment Day implores us to get outdoors and into nature feel the sand feel the grass uh, appreciate its beauty its importance and to take forward the call to protect the earth that we share crazy though is that if you look at literature predominantly western literature of course and i think a little a lot of um, um, african literature as well just that it hasn't really been celebrated enough speak about the preservance of nature most of the poetry that i listen to if you think about uh, wordsworth or you think of ee e. cummings or um forest i forgot his name uh, but it's something that starts with the forest or it's the forest it's very much about the preservation of nature the preservation of our animals um and that kind of connectedness they used to have and i think that's something that we need to also start uh, incorporating in fact talking about literature i was at a slam poetry session um just the other day uh, at the joburg market theater and uh beautiful poetry beautiful uh, poets coming out of Africa um, and I don't know if that was the only material maybe it was just for the day so I'm not going to cast a cloud on them but it was very interesting and, and I mean it's beautiful they were speaking about stuff that is relevant they were speaking about um, you know this men are trash syndrome that's going around on, on our social mediums they were also talking about um, their day to day experiences uh, drugs uh, you know that kind of thing uh, rape um, what's going on in our country in terms of uh, girls getting abducted girls getting hurt girls getting drugged girls getting lynched they spoke a lot about Riva they spoke, so the poetry was really beautiful that space that it spoke about the pain and it tried to really uh get them to voice it out and for us to feel it and i felt it however i didn't even hear one thing or see a person attempt to speak about the environment or speak about it in a way that is poetic and in a way that is uh, important so i think the importance of the environment has been forgotten and i love the fact that the theme is trying to connect people with nature because we are we are connecting creatures. We need to commit. When we commit to something, we need to connect with it. So um, it's a beautiful call to protect the earth that we all share. That's the one thing we have in common. We might not have the same uh, country, same laws, but we all have the same eco ecosystems, uh, more or less. We have the same environment that we, we kind of are used to. You won't go to Switzerland and not see the earth and not see trees it's you're gonna see the same thing we all share the same spaces especially when it comes to you know the natural the earth so we need to be a little bit more um i think aware and a little bit more rigorous in how we action how we have positive environmental action um so there's a lot of beauty and importance in in that and i think also we need to also start looking at how we can incorporate it in our day-to-day -day, um literature what you read what you what you google what you watch on youtube there's so much you can do to inform yourself so that when you hear things like it's world environment day you know exactly what to do because you know where south africa is lacking from an environmental perspective so i'm just going to talk a little bit about what other countries did as well today 
Um, World Environment Day is obviously one of the biggest annual event uh, days for positive uh, environmental action. And uh, one of the host countries for this year was Canada and they got to choose a theme. And I think they chose um, the connecting people to Canada. And that will be obviously be the center of celebrations or was the center of celebrations. It was yesterday. Uh, for the planet so world environment day is a day for everyone everywhere and since it began in 1972 global citizens have organized many events as i said so in canada um i'm just trying to see they uh, austria's own this is what they were launching so austria's own csiro has launched a brand new research center focusing on the ocean hemisphere and it hopes to further the understanding in how the climate works number one and how it may change the future number two um so that's what they were celebrating new studies have also indicated that the science of reviving extinct species is moving closer and closer to the realm of possibility but just because we can doesn't mean we should wow that's actually a really good question um what right do we have to resuscitate or revive extinct species number one and do do we should we um are we at liberty to from an ethical perspective i think not i think if we uh contributed to their to them getting extinct us reviving it doesn't doesn't make us any better it makes us want to be gods but that's just me if you have any any comments on that please don't forget to just tweet me on viewer for real and let me know what do you think do you think we should be reviving extinct species uh I'm I'm gonna give that one a no, but if you have any any contradicting ideas or you want to, because here's the thing, right? It's extinct. It's gone. Is it gone because of? Is it gone because? Uh, wait, are we bringing it back because we want it to be to watch it and 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 is it for our own self glorification to say we can do it? Number one, number two, we have it, or are we just messing up the entire? you know system of how things work and how things go extinct and how it's, it's it's possible for them to you know evolve into something else so like who are we to get in that research but that's what they were doing in canada in the uk people were advised um to get down to their local parks and not just look at views but get involved in them and that means not just looking at a lake but whipping off your clothes and jumping in so really connecting with the nature share photographs on um, social media with the hashtag world environment day too connecting to nature can involve all physical senses why not take off your shoes and get your feet dirty uh, don't just look at the lake jump in take a hike at night rely on your ears and nose to experience nature they also talked about uh you can also connect with nature in the city where major parks can be a green lung and hub of biodiversity. So they were saying, bite into green, uh, you know, uh, plant a tree, start a garden, um, start a garden on your street, start a garden in a disadvantaged area, uh, work with uh, your space and see what you can do with your soil, understand it. And organizers were also encouraging people to organize litter pickups, not only in the neighborhoods where everyone does um, get kind of that service, but also down to your local beaches, your forests and woods, your areas that are just open and, and there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot that can be done. Just go and see what you can do. Go and um, contribute to something. Do something that will change somebody's life. Somebody, a dog, even a dog walking or running around that can be, you know, um, vulnerable to a lot of diseases because of the way we just throw our waste everywhere. So you need to realize you don't live in a silo. You don't live alone. You live with a lot of people around you. And you're still going to live with a lot of people, especially if you haven't haven't had kids like me <laughs> but you have to think about that you have to think about the world you want your children to live in the air you want them to breathe right and in south africa um i had to obviously speak about my country where i'm from miss earth uh, essay regional semi-finalist animika fanada traded her stilettos and the catwalk to give the rough terrain of eco Glen nature reserve a much needed cleanup the cleanup was done ahead of world environment to environment day which was yesterday but in preparation for the day for Narada pupils from the Moroggan Olympus private high school and ward counselor Peter van Yerden got close to nature Miss Earth SA is actually one of the biggest I think NGOs biggest um uh a contest it's obviously like a, 
a, a beauty contest on one end, but also on another end, it's saying, let's make sure that we are creating these beauty queens. It's cool, but let them be environmentally, uh, you know, sound. And that's what they do. They make sure that they planting trees. I mean, the last time I was with them, they were planting um, some kale and cabbage and spinach at, uh, what is a school? Mondio Primary School. Yes, we were planting there for the, for the disadvantaged kids, but also for... Um, you never think of this for the people that work there, so the people that work the gardens, the people that work the kitchen, the people that work the stores. They kind of they can take home some vegetables for their families, and I think that's beautiful. And uh, this year, of course, they were doing a few cleanups all around the country. Um, they were obviously connecting people to 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 nature. The the I don't know if you've seen or heard of the hashtag Waste Stops with Me, and that was another big. Um, theme of Sposa Africa specifically um, in line with the theme um, the cleanup campaign was at uh, Mshengu Ville Park so we had together st- citizens to clean up and engage on matters relating to harmful waste and how everyone can contribute to a cleaner environment so what we looked at was waste stop- so waste stops to me is actually an ongoing campaign that's also part of Miss Earth part of sort of World Environment Day sort of Earth Day all of those kinds of things and what I saw is that a lot of um a lot of uh, ministers were out. Uh, I think Herman was there. A few, a lot of, a lot of ministers were sort of involved in those kinds of, uh, with Miss Earth, they say, those kinds of initiatives yesterday. And I think that's what contributed to a lot of it getting some sort of news um, uh, attention because a lot of the ministers were underst- understood the importance of World Environment Day. And they were there and they were getting their hands dirty and they were helping out and they were trying to clean up these areas where, you know, there's areas, especially in the locations or, you know, Ikasi, where you find that um, there's just no way of, number one, tackling the amount of waste that is there. And number two, people are living around it as if it doesn't, it, it, it they, they've gotten so used to it that it's become sort of a norm or a natural thing that smell that that look you know people have so are so accustomed to it not being that clean anymore that it's really shocking so i really really love um first of all i have to shout out um I have to shout out uh, Miss Earth SA. They've been doing amazing work and they keep on doing it. And they, they, they always on point. They always have something to do, which I love. Well done, Miss Earth, for your Waste Stops With Me campaign. Well done um, for the Miss Earth who did the cleanup. I know in Cape Town also, Play Your Part, which is a part of a brand uh, SA. Um, civil society, businesses, government, as well as obviously Miss Earth also were taking the initiative um, that can contribute uh, healthy um, in, in Soweto. So they they all came from from that side, you know, Cape Town, and they came and, and really wanted to clean up uh, in Soweto. And I think it's going to be something they're going to be doing every year and at almost every uh, location um, or disadvantaged area. Lovely, lovely day. Lovely to hear that we were very much part of the conversation. Lovely to see it trending on Twitter, guys. That's amazing. If you have any queries about World Environment Day, you feel free to tweet me at Viewer for Real, or you could go to www.social-tv.co.za to find out a little bit more about what we do. If you have a story for us, don't forget to let us know. Send us a query. We might follow up. We might actually come through with cameras and film your story. If you did something amazing for World Environment Day, please email me on press at social dash tv dot co dot za do not forget the dash if you forget the dash i'm not going to get the email also don't don't be afraid to also tweet us on social one tv um also just to find out a little bit more about world environment day or more or what we do and what you'd like to get involved in if you want to volunteer we are we are there with that information so do not be afraid thank you so much for listening to the social show i will be back again tomorrow same time same place do not go anywhere Live from 27 boxes in the heart of Melville, this is brandlive.co.za.